Hello everybody. In this video I was going to tell you about my psychology studies and why I do it. But I read another text about the senselessness of war and it doesn't get out of my head. There are lots of posts and articles like this these days, but I can't help saying it one more time. While we are admiring nature here, someone is being torn to pieces, while we are enjoying the soup, someone is eating a moldy rusk. When we walk on the grass and feel it tickle our toes, someone stumbles over the rubble of a bombed-out house in the center of a European capital. In fact, I overcame the survivor syndrome, the feeling of guilt that arises in those Ukrainians who fled the war. I left before the war and I am with my whole family, my situation is even better. And I felt remorse every time I read about Bucha and Mariupol or even just about separated families in which the men stayed there and the women with children left for other countries. I felt remorse every time until I sat down and found an answer to the question how could I help in this situation and does my feeling of guilt help? Can I help with money? Yes, a little bit, but not much. Text translations? Yes, but also not much, since there are a lot of volunteer translators and the amount of what I can do is minimal because of the child. So I have a choice either to feel guilty about the fact that I feel better or to accept the fact that everything happens as it happens and realize that this time my psyche will remain intact and live with it. Live with it hoping that later my psyche not traumatized by the war, coupled with great compassion for the injured people, which is inevitably sincere because I have a sense of belonging to these people, will help someone even if it is my own family and inner circle. What strikes me the most is the ambivalence of humanity. On the one hand, we plant humane values and, at least in a civilized society, we trumpet the preciousness of human life from every corner. We are establishing funds to fight poverty and hunger in Asia and Africa. We teach children arts and sciences, vaccinate them to prevent from dying, and send them to socialize in summer camps. On the other hand, the fathers of these kids design rockets. Do you know how much it costs to produce an Iskander missile that Russia is now dropping on Ukraine? Ten million dollars. And these missiles shall not just military facilities and infrastructure, they shall ordinary residential buildings. Common people lose everything they have. Countries waste billions. Nobody cares. Nobody wins. In the end, maybe somebody wins, but is it a real victory? So, about the children, the post I read spoke about this hypocrisy of society. Today you enroll your son to a hobby group where they learn computer sciences or 3D modeling. Your child goes to school where they teach him how to respect human rights. You send your precious little one to an international camp where kids of different nationalities play together, become friends. Everybody is happy and aimed at achieving goals building careers, traveling, enjoying life. At the same time, in six or two, eight years, they can come to your house and give your son an order to join the army, and your son can be sent to war, and when he gets injured or dies, they would just shrug the, their shoulders and say, yes, of course, it's sad he died, but this is war. This is what happens. This fact will not change anything. Well, except for the life of a particular family. But on the other hand, everything is completely normal. 
After all, we have always done this, and it turned out great. That's what they're gonna say, and you can't even argue. I wonder how long it will take for something to change.